like did I stutter I'm a cheeky mother <sighs> it's so cute it's really cute isn't it isn't it really cute like I did this on live with y'all and look at it it's like two braids I was gonna do four but then I did the first one and it's like really difficult to make braids right and then I did the second one I did the second one and then See, it's really nice but it's like I kind of like lost my grip along the way so I had to like figure it out but it look it look cute it look cute like it really does look cute it's just that this hair I didn't put a lot of product on it so my curls are not that defined but it's okay I mean I like it it's so cute it's so cute let me take off my earrings because it's kind of hurting but I want you to see them Watch your speed up. Ugh. Look at this. Yeah. It's like roses. It's like cute rare roses. This is so cute. This is one of my favorite earrings. Except that um I don't usually wear outfits that warrant um the use of this i don't usually wear outfits that warrant the use of this but uh, um i got to wear more cute clothing so i can wear my jewelry and this one it has like red in between in between the broken heart uh, pieces and it's super cute and i really love it i really love it i love like unique pieces of jewelry i love like color i love color that's what i realized i really love color my makeup but like it looks cute but like the eyeshadow i'm just not getting right and the eyeliner as well because i have sunken eyes i have hollow sunken in eyes um and like you see, not much of my eyelid shows when I look directly at you. Not much of my eyelid shows. So I've got to use that space maximally. Maximally. And like, um, so I can't do, I definitely know I can't do a, a what do you call it? Like a smoky eye. Because I just look, it just doesn't look right on me. I look raccoony. So I don't want to do that. The smoky eye. But I do want to try like, you know, creative makeup looks and kawaii makeup looks. Because that's just who I am. That's just who I am. I'm drinking my love again. Let me wipe off this because it's going on my cup. Let me wipe my cup first. Ugh. That's the worst thing about wearing, um, about wearing like lip stuff. <sighs> ah, one swipe. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's cute though. Like, I like the kissy lips now. I like the kissy lips emoji now. I think I've been putting it on the community tab. I don't like using wipes, you know, like makeup wipes, because I'm not sure how it's going to react to my skin. So I'm not going to use that. I just rather use like, like, uh, I'd rather wipe it off because I don't use heavy makeup or heavy powder or like foundation and stuff. So I'd rather just wipe it off, wipe it off or like uh, use an oil cleanser and take it off. Oil cleanser, I'm going to wash my face to take it off. But yep. Yeah. So, it took me a long time to do this hairstyle, right? It took me like an hour on live just to do this hairstyle. Like an hour. And um, just to do this hairstyle and put on makeup and stuff. And I've been making like like uh, YouTube shorts a little bit. 
and a little bit of TikToks, but obviously I don't post on TikToks. I'm going to take those TikToks and put it on like Instagram and Facebook and stuff because I never win on TikTok. I just don't know why. And I kind of gave up. Well, I gave up, right, on TikTok. So that's okay. That's just what it is. And um, I take my owl. I take my owl on the chest. I take my owl on, my, on the chest. Okay. And um, yeah. So I did some of those and I did some YouTube shorts, but I'm like tired now. And it's, it's not even been a long time. It's like, I don't think I've been working for a long time. Like, I mean, for this many hours. And it's only like a few hours. But hopefully have enough content. Like, content creating is so difficult. Truly, like, content creating is so difficult. And content creators deserve to get paid for their efforts. Because this takes a lot of energy. My body is like hurting now because even my hands were hurting when I was doing my hairstyle, when I was making my hairstyle. My hands are actually hurting. And um, content creators deserve to get paid for their efforts. It's not easy doing this kind of thing. And um, for me as well, it's like, I do this because I want to do it. Because I like being here with y'all. And this is like... For me, this channel is like... Um, hair... <laughs> hair, makeup... Learning how to do hair... How to do my hair... Learning how to do my makeup... Uh, and... Uh, y'all giving me self-therapy... Y'all giving me therapy here... Y'all giving me emotional uh, uh, support here... And y'all... Um, giving me a way to dump my emotional situations and trying to figure out life so this is a self-therapy channel too so <laughs> so that's why i don't do like hair tutorials makeup tutorials and all that because i'm still learning it and like what the frick i'm a teacher when i don't know nothing <laughs> about it just like with self-love and emotional health what am i going to teach you about it when i don't know nothing about it yet and I'm still trying to figure it out with y'all. Uh, but it is a beautiful thing. Having a YouTube channel. It's just that it does take a lot of energy. And maybe that's because I'm sickly. But that's okay. Because I enjoy this. I have fun with this. And my teeth hurt. Because I think it's like. My teeth is rotten. The bottom row. Bottom row is like. Freaking killing me. Because it really hurts now. And it's cold here as well. But I pushed through and uh, I did my hair and I did my makeup and I feel better. I think it's part of my self-therapy and self-care and uh, mental health care and like emotional health care and self-love to do my hair and makeup and feel good about myself. And even if it's just for me and you, it's worth it. It's, it's nice. I like it. I like it um I really do like it and I never thought that I'd be here thinking about writing hairstyles to make next thinking about like all the cute things about life and trying to find trying to find beauty in this drug life because really from the strike life and this is the only <laughs> never mind <laughs> i don't want to get into it like we'll address it at a later date but i don't want to get into it right now but yeah who would have ever thought me strug life baby being here on the internet with you doing cute hairstyles and makeup and Trying to be mentally free and emotionally healthy. Wow. Wow. This is unheard of. What we're doing here is unheard of. I will be satisfied. I will be satisfied. This is awesome. This is impossible. And awesome. <laughs> And awesome. Who would have ever thought? 
yeah i was talking about content creators like content creators like the energy it takes to make videos like i'm not even doing anything aesthetic like i'm not even putting effort into like into like full-on um videography and editing i'm not doing that level of like content creation i'm just like doing me and, and i'm using my phone and a light and that's it but imagine those other content creators who like have full-on videography uh equipment that they have to use and uh, the energy it takes to even be on the internet the energy it takes to create is large and i didn't realize that it takes so much of energy and effort even though i'm doing like simple things like you know just doing my hair and makeup and it already takes so much of energy wow uh imagine like singers and people who go on tour like imagine the energy that it takes for them especially like people who sing and rap and stuff and like you got they gotta do their outfit their makeup their um hair they gotta make sure like uh, everything is in order their mic their this their that their team and then also you they, they gotta be the one performing like that's so much of energy like yo that, that that's so much of energy honestly me i barely have energy to keep myself alive uh let alone like deal with all the other garbage that people deal with this is super cute though look at it how do people have maximal energy if i had maximal energy what would i do with it i would try to take over the world if i had maximal energy if i could stay awake for longer periods of time i probably would try and take over the world probably <laughs> But I'm tired, like, what the frick, I'm not tired. What am I tired? Like, shit. Y'all gonna buy my mixtape? Y'all gonna buy my mixtape? <laughs> yeah, did I speak about Magnolia Slim? Did I? I wanted to. I don't know if I did, but I'm gonna speak about him again, because he's awesome. Um... Yeah, I like Magnolia Slim, uh, Soldier Slim, Soldier Slim. Uh, when he first came out, he was Magnolia Slim, and that's just how I remember him as, because that's what we used to play all the time, Magnolia Slim. And um, then he changed his name to Soldier Slim, but we still remember him as Magnolia Slim, and uh, I really like his music, his rap, the raps. Um, obviously he talks about, but he talks about, okay, he does talk about, like, hoes and bang bang and, uh, selling and, um, those kind of things. But I mean, he honestly lived it, you know? He's not faking it. He didn't fake it. He lived it. And that was his lived reality. And he also complained about, like, uh, he gave social commentary in his raps, which is what I love about him too. Yeah. I'm a chick, yeah. <laughs> Let me see you work the booty muscles. Get jiggy with it. <laughs> yeah, I like his music. I like his music. Hustling is a habit. Soldier-like mentality. I don't know why people here loved him so much. Like, 
okay no i know why they love him so much but i mean like it's so peculiar like magnolia slim is like is like all the way across the world and people where i'm from uh were so attached to him and park and biggie and bob marley and lauren hill they were so attached to their music and i think it's because like we come from like deep and aggressive um forms of oppression and i think that's why they were really attached to it but i grew up with all of it like i grew up with all of it and <laughs> that's just how it is like we wake up to like um my family members had like posts of park and in their rooms and um magnolia slim and uh biggie um Bob Mar- I had a hu- they had a huge post of Bob Marley um, in the house and <laughs> Lauren Hill um, and it was like beautiful art pieces it was not just like a regular poster like how I have like a regu- like regular post I have like I have Nipsey I have Magnolia Slim I have Piggy and I have Park and those are like regular regular photos but uh, on their photos they have the photos that I chose, they have crowns on their heads. They have crowns on their heads and on the, their photos. But uh, when I grew up, it was like, it was artistic and creative pieces of them. It was a piece of, of their images. And um, it wasn't just no regular picture of them, like how I am. <laughs> so you basically grow up listening to Park. And you grow up listening to Magnolia Slim and Bob Marley, uh, Lionel Richie. We had a huge post of Lionel Richie. It was, but it was the album cover. It was a, a Lionel Richie's album cover, and he was like on the side, like this, and he had an afro, and he was like on the side like this, because they love, they love, they love um, Lionel Richie and um, Whitney Houston. Like they really love the names, so yeah, we had that all over the house. Like, there's a deep attachment to music somehow, and I don't know how. It was like, that's just how I grew up. It's constant like music and stuff, aggressive like emotions in in rap, and that's just how. That's just the music that. I grew up listening to like aggressive emotions in rap and understanding the context of what people are saying and that that we are all over like we are across the world but we still relate to 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 different forms of oppression like that. It's a beautiful thing, but at the same time it's really sad because why the frick do we have to experience oppression like that? You know? I didn't grow up, grow up on like a uh, 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 soft uh, music like y'all. <laughs> I didn't grow up on like soft music like y'all. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not poking fun. I'm not poking fun. Nobody, nobody chooses how, uh, how they grow up like, and what they're exposed to at a young age. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. Anyway, I like my noise. Slow motion, but like with with Magnolia slow slow motion, he, he featured Juvenile, and um, it's a really it's really an awesome song. It's really an awesome song, and uh, August Alcina flipped not flipped it, but kind of like um. He like kind of made it into his perspective, <laughs> like a uh, slow motion by Magnolia Slim and Juvenile. He kind of made it into his uh, perspective, and uh, he I think he made the songs with his with his mouth because he's a musical person. Um, but it sounded really good though. It sounded really good. 
and then uh, Trey Songz had a song, Slow Motion. But obviously, like, that, that song, I don't think Trey Songz wrote that song, because that's not his style of writing. And um, it had nothing to do with Magnolia Slim. But I did hear, like, somebody told me, like, at one of his concerts, he did uh, play Magnolia Slim uh, slow motion and uh, mix it in with his slow motion, which was awesome. Like, it was awesome. And I don't think a lot of people know. I don't think, like, people who listen to r and I don't think they know Magnolia Slim. And uh, they probably would not have recognized what he was trying to do there. But somebody who did recognize it told me about it. So I'm sure it's like, it's like the older people will know, not people my age at all. <laughs> not people, people my age will not know, I don't think. I think I had a productive day. I think I had a productive day, but like, do you know how, like, the transition is difficult. Of what I'm saying is like, it's like, difficult to adapt is what I'm trying to say. Because I type for a living, right? I type. Um, and going from like, looking a mess every day, uh, typing, where nobody sees me, to like trying to get camera ready and be on camera it, it takes a lot of effort it's a kind of a switch that you have to do it's kind of do, do you know sam altman said that you need to study adaptability and resilience why do you need adaptability because everybody's jobs are gonna be uh taken over by ai and then you have to find something else to do. And why do you need resilience? Because you have to push through to get those new jobs. Like you like you just left high school. Yes. Let's see. Y'all gonna buy my mixtape? Y'all gonna buy my mixtape? Are you gonna buy my mixtape? Like, my thing is, okay, let me just give you a hypothetical. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let me give you a hypothetical, right? So, uh, uh, like, the only person who, like, I've heard recently who said something positive about AI was uh, Gary V. And he said that people like me <laughs> who type and shit who uh, who who type and shit who don't really do this content creation things and who have ideas but are unable to act on it ai affords you the opportunity to act on your ideas and um be something you never thought you'd be because you're stuck in the grind right and truly i believe it I, I'm also of that opinion of the exciting opportunities you get to create, but at the same time, while being stuck in the grind. But then if AI takes over your job, how the freak are you going to survive? How are you going to survive? That's my thing. It's nice to create and stuff, but creating doesn't bring in any money. Look at us. Diamonds shine because they're really diamonds. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is fake. Um, diamonds shine because they're really diamonds. That's Kevin Gates. Diamonds hanging off of me. I got an ice block where my heart used to be. Chase it. Chase it. That's August Elsina and uh, Q Diamond song. Q. Yeah, Q Diamond song. It's called Diamonds. Q. It's Q U E. Q Diamonds. I can't find him on Instagram though. But uh, that's one song of his that I know. I don't hear any other song of his. But we should exploit on Patreon. Mm -hmm. 
yeah so let's talk about crazy crazy is nice and fun and stuff and it takes energy though but it's difficult the trade-off is insane because creating you need thought you need energy you need the ability to execute and that that takes time and energy and effort and you can't really spend that when you stuck in the grind trying to survive you can't afford the time energy and effort <clears throat> so it's a real trade-off and even here starting this channel and being consistent here is like a real trade-off because i have to like I have to like convince myself that this is that self care and mental health care is worth is worth it, you know. Otherwise, I could be typing and and uh, being miserable typing and um, because I want money, but that does nothing for my mental health, and I just be miserable. I'm not miserable when I'm with you. I'm not miserable when I'm with you. Talking about my mixtapes. Mixtape. Yeah. So what are we gonna do when the robots take over? What are we gonna do? Oh, okay. Exhaustion because I'm drained. I'm really drained. But I mean, are you a performer? Are you imagine if we imagine if, like I don't have anything against anyone and I don't judge people because life is insane and I'm really from the strike life. But obviously, this is not something that I would do personally, not because I, ha I think highly of myself, but because I don't like people looking at me uh sexually so i wouldn't do this job you know i don't like people i get extreme anger when people look at me so this is not a job that i would do but uh girls who are so imagine being and uh you have to work every day and you're on your period and your body hurts like now my body hurts and like i'm trying to take down my hair and i'm yawning and i'm tired and imagine if uh, after making my video, I have to uh, go to work and, and like, and dudes are just like, you know how disgusting dudes are? Do you know how disgusting dudes are? Like in, in just regular normal life, not even at the strike. Like just regular normal life, Do you know how disgusting dudes are? And now you, this is like times 100 because you're in a place that fosters or, or encourages their behavior and and then you have to deal with that now you're going to go to work your body hurts you have to perform you have to be nice to people you have to you can't get angry with customers when they look at you like oh, imagine that are you a performer you know there has to be easier ways of like trying to live. <laughs> Imagine doing that. Yo, I will never survive. Listen, I'll be, I'll be, I'll probably be in jail on day one for slapping somebody for looking at me in, a, in the wrong way. And then they'll have to convince me like, no, them looking at you in the wrong way means that you're doing your job. And then I just wouldn't, it just wouldn't click for me. <laughs> like, no, I can't do this. Uh -uh. Yikes. Yikes. But imagine performing like that. Oh, it's too much. On the body, it's too much. On the mind, it's too much. On your safety, it's too much. Oh, just for some, just for some. Mm -mm. Yikes. Yikes. How can you live like how can you can you is it I had a brilliant idea. Is it even possible to live on zero dollars? 
Like, is it possible to live on zero dollars? And your cost for being a human being is zero. Is it ever, is it, is it ever possible? Is it even possible? That's cute. That's cute. Cute curls. Is it even possible? I would like to ask this person a question. Is it even possible? Let me take off my chain because I didn't match. I don't even have the strength, arm strength to even pull it apart. Is it possible to live on zero dollars? Like, your cost of being a human is zero. Uh, I need to research. I need to research and find out if anyone has ever attempted to live on zero. And I'm not talking about those rich kids who live in their parents' house and stuff. I'm talking about, like, real human beings. Like, living off the land. Like, you can live off the land, but still, you still need, like, salt. You still need to buy, like, salt and seasoning and oil and rice and stuff but how can how can you reduce cost so much that oh that's cute that's really cute How could you reduce cost so much that it costs zero dollars to be a human being? Oh, you know what we need to do next time? Next time, we need a braid. Next time we need to braid uh every piece of hair on my head we should braid it but like obviously like i have so much hair so it should be like i could do like uh two like one here one here and then go across my head on braids only braid my entire hair and then leave it like leave it maybe like uh for a few hours and then open it and then i'll have like more defined curls do you think do you think i would have more defined curls if i do that i think so i'm gonna try it maybe tonight maybe tonight if i'm not typing um, i don't want to type and i'm not gonna do it um I don't want to type and I'm not going to do it. So, tonight. Tonight, precious bunnies. But my hands are going to hurt a lot. So, I'll probably need a braid and then stop. Take a break. Braid again. But my entire hair. It's a mountain to climb, but I'm with you. Take really good care of yourself. Um, do your best. <laughs>